Bill is black from his waist down. I swear to God. <laughs> Hi hey champion, my name is Crystal and I am Bill and if you're a new subscriber to our channel or you just found us for some reason, welcome and for all our current or old subscribers, we appreciate you guys and if you guys don't know, I'm from Jamaica and I am from America and together we're in an interracial relationship guys so based on the title, you guys know what's about to go down What's Today it? I'll be telling you guys, giving you guys 10 reasons Why not ten... to date a white guy <laughs> Is that the video? No, it's 10 reasons what it's like to date a white guy uh, Yeah <laughs> 10 reasons, what it's like to date an American white boy No, mm -hmm. American white boy <laughs> You gotta add that part well, you have different types. You have German, European. All right, guys, we're Euro not going to waste European. What? I said European. <laughs> it's just funny. What did I say? Everyone else pronounces the European, but... European? Yeah. Okay, babe. Let's hear these <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Number one, it's annoying. It's awful. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yes. I'm joking, guys. My number one reason, like, um what it's like i would say it's awesome basically um one thing i noticed when i met you is that in jamaica we would say sensitive but i wouldn't call it sensitive i would say he's more i would say you're emotionally intelligent babe you That's know what a that nice means way of saying a bitch no <laughs> that's my way of saying he bill getting his feeling and i love that he touch into that feminine side of him and it well, allows so us manly. you are manly babe let me hold on let me explain myself gosh what i'm saying is that you're not afraid to show that vulnerable side of you and i love that that's different like in jamaica like from a young age little boys are taught not to um not to cry be a man why are you crying for you acting like a girl like i love when you show me that you're not afraid to be vulnerable to me and I don't know. It's I find it cute. That's one thing I love about you. Oh. Shut up. Keep going. S second reason. <laughs> babe, you are handy. I don't know if that has nothing to do with race or anything though. But I will say that you are very handy. Like the stuff you do around the house, yeah. But I don't think that has nothing. <laughs> It has nothing to do with uh, <laughs> race or honestly, where, guys, you're, where you're from. It's well, just... for personally, from my experience, I've never been with a guy that's so handy. That's so. I guess that's one thing I like about you, but it doesn't classify. What did they do that? Uh, they instead of shit. being handy, they just, all they do is I won't go. I won't. <clears throat> I won't diss anybody right now. But <laughs> he's Just trying to up. he's trying to do some shit. What's different? One thing that's different is, babe, it's so different dating a white boy. Like Bill's cooking. Mm -mm. <laughs> you don't even go there. You love my. I love pasta when you make pasta. And... That's the only thing. Bill's cooking. Oh, my... It's babe. I made other things you love. You love my French toast. You just don't love the fact that I got to use eggs and bread to make it. Yeah, I feel like he's wasting food. When Even he though we eat it. And she's like, this is so fucking good. <laughs> Guys, Bill use a lot when he's cooking. But anyways, I give him prop on those stuff. But I would just say Bill's cooking. I would love a little more flavor, a little more seasoning. Being from the island, you know, we grow our own herbs and all that. So? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. What else do I like about you, babe? There's so the much. The fact that I don't get mad over things that you do that I probably should get mad about. You do get mad. I, I don't know what you Okay, I get mad, but I don't act on it. I just wait for you to really mess up and then I bring it up. That's not a good trait, guys. Comment down below if you think that's a toxic trait that men keep a... stuff inside, bottled up, and then wait until they explode, they express it. That brings me to point number four. 
I'm just going to show that I can I can let things slide little things that you do let slide mm -hmm. until the time whenever you just keep getting on me over a little thing that you should let slide and then I go off and tell you about all the little things I let slide you think I'm letting you or you think I'm losing these arguments uh cause uh, you're a good arguer no I'm losing them on purpose so I can have one know, to get I'm back I'm a good at you arguer with. so really you count how much <laughs> arguments you lose so you yes get... If I lose enough small arguments, I get one free big argument that I win. Whatever. Anyways, guys, that what, whatever Bill is saying, whatever he's saying, save that for later. My next point is, I like the way you dress, babe. People always come and be like, Crystal, you're dressing Bill that, that, that way. I don't, I have like one little percent like how he dress. For the most part, he's the one that go and take out his clothes. And put himself together. So that's one thing I like about you. Here's not, her, uh, not here's her one percent. Her two outfits pulled out. <laughs> I had to pick. <laughs> but for real though, not a lot of in my experience, like dating, looking at other guys outside my race. One thing I didn't like was their fashion sense. So I give you kudos for your fashion. So like I like when you dress up. You look sexy. So try. Didn't like my flannel and boots. I like your flannel, but not so your boots. But it depends how you wear your boots. How? Like your western boots or like Timberlands? My Timberland? western boots with my flannels and blue jeans. Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, it could it could get a little past. Depends where we're going. If we're going to like a rodeo show or a barn. Where are you going to wear flannels and boots in Florida? Where are you going to Everywhere. Gonna that's so awkward. Guys, I take back my point number four. He's letting us know. I'm going like, to know where <laughs> That's city. That's city. Folks exactly. Stuff. That's, but that's most of the stuff we do is like. That's we all don't... the stuff you like to do. I like to do country stuff. And... Like what? And my next point, guys, he takes me out my comfort zone. And remember you said that too? That's one thing I like about you is that some of the stuff, like Bill would say I'm a city girl, but honestly, I grew up in Jamaica. I'm not really a city girl. Hold on. What? You're Let me talk. You were born you're born in the country. I think that's why you're such a city girl cuz you're born in Exactly. A I'm a, a country. I'm born like rural Jamaica. So I grew up in St. Anne, Jamaica, like in the hills, mountains. You know what I mean? That's why you're such a city girl. You don't so, want to go back to that. Exactly. <laughs> like Bill, like what stuff I grew up doing, like Bill does for fun. Bill wanna <laughs> Bill wanna go outside, go to the farm, he wanna go camping, Bill wanna go eat this, live off nature. I'm like, bitch, I did that shit when I was coming from school, I would stop and pick mangoes. Like was, I did all that the stuff. Stru the struggle. <laughs> the struggle. How dare him? Why, and then why he people, wanna go do that for how, fun. How do how dare do how dare does Americans do stuff that other countries were doing as a struggle? Exactly. And then what, you want me to go do that shit for fun? Like, hell no. That's no know. fun to me, babe. Bill, uh-uh. I ain't doing that. You want to go camping? Um, I told you I wanted to go camping, but, like, after the corona is gone, guys. Well, who are we going to come in contact in the middle of the woods? The animals that gave us, I don't know. Who are they coming in contact with? No know. one going out there hugging on a puma? I don't know. What's in the <laughs> right, I don't even ahead. know what's in the jungle in America. What's all there? Bears? Is there bears in Florida? Yeah, there's bears, alligators, anyway. and pumas. Guys, that's what, as I was saying, that's one thing I love about him is that he takes me out my comfort zone. He... Stuff that I would like to do, like me, I like to go clubbing, go into the party. Bill is more on the relaxed side. He's more reserved than I am. So he likes to go camping. He likes to go fishing. Like stuff that I would probably think is bored. And he does play a video game. That's something that he's getting me into. I'll come out here and I'll be like, who are you playing? Grand Theft Auto? He's like, oh, that's so old. I'm playing Apex Legends. So <laughs> I like that you... For real, I like that you. I like that adventurous side of you. I like that you introduce me to stuff. Like you introducing me to country music, and that's one of the perks of being in an interracial relationship. And um, yeah, and one of the thing that fall within that counter is not just like doing stuff. It's like food, like stuff that I would never eat. Like guys, no joke, us black people. <laughs> what do you think? Us black people do eat a lot of starch and sugary stuff. Bill. He'll like 
feel like salmon and what else do you like to eat that stuff that I would never eat like you and tr guys I would never eat alligator I swear to god that's, oh, that's so good raccoon he ew what <laughs> oh no he can't get awesome. me ew you had never had no raccoon Stop have you lying. ever had canned possum no there's a whole possum in a can I gotta get some and have you open it that's so gross. Comment like, down below if you want to see that. That will never happen. I'll never put that in my mouth. I'm, I'm my, I'm my, She's going to delete all the comments that come in uh, saying that. Ain't nobody saying that because <laughs> I'll never eat that. I didn't but, say you had to eat it. Just take a smell of it. I am taking no smell of that. But what I'm saying, guys, is, yeah, he got me to eat alligator. That was the only thing I was willing to try. He took me to a restaurant we just met and we had alligator. That was that raccoon, worked. actually. That was not raccoon because the name of the restaurant is literally, isn't it like little alligator? What's the name of the restaurant? It's raccoons are us. That's a lie. You <laughs> so. He's she so, ate trash panda guys. You so weird, guys. One of the thing, like one of the difference I love, like dating Bill, is his hair. I like playing in your hair. She likes it when it's short. Like when it's short, I like to rub on the back. But I love curly hair too. But. <laughs> I love his straight hair. I love to play in it. It's like something I just enjoy doing. And the thing is, he enjoys doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, next thing is, babe, I don't classify you as a hillbilly. I know you want to be in the category. I am. And I know people like, to... what does a hillbilly do? You've never take me like in the nothing, do nothing adventures with me. Well, that, that doesn't mean anything. Hillbilly is the where I'm from. I like, well, one of the things when I was in Pennsylvania, one thing I noticed about Americans is they're also um, very family oriented, like Jamaicans. Well, I don't know about every American, but Bill's family was similar to mine. And that's something that I really like about them. So, babe, I'm okay with having kids with you. I know if I die, my kids will be fine. You're from a good background. They'll be okay. You're not going to die. Corona ain't coming for you. It smells your breath. I told you. Away. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm having winter fresh. Bill is such a liar. Plus, I brush my teeth. Anyways... What number was I on? What point was I on? I lost count. I think you're on eight. Yeah, we'll say eight. My next number, I think it's number nine. Guys, this <laughs> Bill is the one that's throwing me off. I love that you're so patriotic. Bill is so pro-American. Like, it's not about politics, like Republican, Democrat, or nothing like that. I love the fact that you're patriotic and like you believe in your country like that's like i'm proud to be a jamaican i like you're proud to be american and you stand by you don't like guys i'll be saying something and i'll say like i'll do i don't know we'll watch the news and i'll say something random and you'll be like well no and then we get into an argument but it's kind of a turn on to see him defend this country like that and i like that i'm gonna defend the country i don't care who's in office I, I love the country, not the office. Yeah, so that's one thing. I like that. Guys, Bill is very romantic. This is a shocker <laughs> to some people. But <laughs> as I said, I've, I've dated Jamaican guys in the past. And this is not to bash uh, any Jamaican. This is just my experience. I'm not saying every American guy is like this. But Bill is very romantic. I like that. For some random reason, it's not Valentine's Day, it's not Christmas. I'll be getting flowers, chocolate, or he'll randomly get up and clean the house. Like he's very helpful around the house. So, <laughs> <laughs> why is he blushing, <laughs> guys? That's one of the. That's a nice thing to date outside. Ice cream trucks here, babe. And another thing, guys. Bill loved to eat. Oh my gosh, you see this belly? <laughs> I cook and he eat. It's like a great combination. Like we can't complain. And now when I'm I, getting well, fatter when I, because when I cook, she gotta go. She gotta go. If she's not hungry, she gotta go. Only make enough for yourself, cause she knows. As soon as I start cooking, pots and pans are flying, and she's getting some food. 
Even though I made some bacon today. Yeah, I put some. I put. What did you put on it? It was actually good. The little bit that I had. He, he had it all by himself. Mm hmm. You didn't want any. You didn't get none, though. Only you, Bill. Next up, <laughs> next subject, guys, is. Uh, this is a stereotype. Let me just say, everybody that's saying white men aren't good in bed, take that idea out of your head because it's not true, right, babe? Hmm? I don't know. I've never been with a white man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> in the black community, people like to be like, oh, white guys have a small ding along or whatever. Babe, <laughs> he's so awkward right now. <laughs> That is not true, guys. I swear, if that's the case, then Bill is black from his waist down. I swear to God. Like, that is not, <laughs> not true. <laughs> How, I've had some amazing, like, best I ever had they, uh, being engaged to this guy. So, guys, take that outside of your head. That's not true. <clears throat> Next topic. We're not going to dwell on that anymore. <laughs> you are so red. <laughs> I'm fat. It happens. <laughs> Next stop, guys. You know Guarantee, I've been with Bill all and their, all their head, what? like how much can that camera see? Because all their eyes are probably going down now, trying to look. <laughs> They're just up here, so you don't have to worry, babe. <laughs> babe, you see the size of I can of feel me? you guys staring <laughs> at it. Stop. <laughs> Next topic. Let's done. We're done with this topic. I think we're on uh, twelve out of ten. <laughs> Because there's so much good stuff about you. Guys, I'm going to give two more reasons and I'm going to wrap it up right now. So stick with us. Next reason why I would tell somebody to go date a white guy. Guys, they are so affectionate. Like, they are good kissers. Wait, that was like same as the other point. You want to kiss me too? No. <laughs> Corona. <laughs> social distancing. Good. Baby, you haven't been doing no social distancing. You're so bad. But anyways, God, babe. Social distancing. No, social, <laughs> social distance over there. Six four. Guys, stop interrupting me. You're making me lose my train of thoughts with social distance. On the train? Yes. Two, Guys, two. next thing, one thing I love about Bill is, as you can see, look at his shirt. I like to say he's a nerd, and before he didn't understand what I meant when I said he's a nerd, he would be, he'd think like I'm poking fun about it. I'm making fun of him for calling him a nerd. But I don't, I think it's cute. He's very smart. And for somebody that has, um, what do you have, babe? A whole list of things. He has ADHD. And I just think you're very smart. Like how you put stuff together. You're like the most brilliant guy I've ever met. So I'll call him a nerd because Bill like will sit and watch Advent. Bill will watch all these comic movies, stuff over. Like you got me into stuff like that. On what? Like comic, you watch comic, you watch ba Big Bang Theory. I was into Who Big Bang Theory. He doesn't watch Big Bang Theory. <laughs> he watched so Seven, much. like Bill watched the most nerd. Bill would say and watch Discovery Channel for hours and just, this dude will go and buy a lizard. Like who go buy a lizard? Like he'll just be interested to know how the lizard was born. Every day I come home to some random story about why a frog is, a frog is maybe the way they are. I'm just making up stuff, but those are the kind of conversation we have, and we have like the the weirdest conversation. Guarantee ever. our kids are gonna excel in science and biology. Well, that's a good thing. So, <laughs> like, yeah, that's one thing I love about him. He's just brilliant. His mind is very much a turn on, and I don't know if all those stuff had to do with race. As I said, guys, at the end of the day, there's no real difference to they outside their race. It's just each to their own. Love who you love, and I don't think. Uh... I don't think intelligence has anything to do with race, but definitely not. Maybe, maybe in a, maybe a culture thing, like you know, some culture. It's just the way you like, express it, like, and maybe. um, that uh, that was that point had nothing to do with race. That's just my experience dating yeah. you, meeting you, our journey together, and um, I don't know. I can't. I don't say I regret anything. Not all white guys are gonna be like me, guy people. And. <laughs> The fact that the last thing I got to say, I didn't say this, the fact that you'll stand up for me. And I love that. Like the way you support my dreams. Like I never come to anything, like come to you about anything and you turn me down. You're always supporting my dreams. 
I'll come to bed with like guys. I change ideas so often. I might talk to you about something that I probably don't well, think yeah. you should do. He'll definitely say don't do this or like guys. I have bad spending habits. I like to shop online. He'll talk to me about that. My credit, this, that. Don't do my such stuff. But besides that, I'm talking about my aspirations in life, like reaching, setting a goal. Like you support that. Yeah. And I love the way you support it. Like you'll fight hard for me, and that's a good thing. Yeah. As long as she didn't like brainwash me into thinking it was a good thing. To, oh, well, to I could support. brain. I could brainwash you. I'll take your wigs. You see what I'm talking about, guys? <laughs> he gonna take my wigs. You know what? <laughs> Let's leave it there. If we ever have a small, small child and they put your wig on and walk across the floor, I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> like, see none of the scare movie. Anyways, guys, we're dragging this on. As I said, love who you love. That's just my experience dating outside my race. There's no, like, difference, basically. It's pretty much the same thing. One and two little difference. Some misconception that some people had I wanted to clear up. And that's it. Love you guys, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you. Oh, oh. before we go. Okay. Let's see. What? If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification next to it to get updates on future content sent out by us. Oh you're not guys. champion, you're Winners. not winning. <laughs> Bye. Bye.